Anyways, he throws up on the lobsters. I'm feeling pretty fertile. Have you ever like shit yourself in public? <laughs> it's cutting my tongue like it's a serrano pepper. That's right. This Hot drinks really and even hotter questions. I feel like I should have said this. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jinnalyn Meowry Marauders. We're here, joined again in the Thunderdome, this time with a special guest, Moist Critical, the five foot six wonder. Welcome. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Hey, we're gonna be asking some spicy questions with some even spicier drinks, so I hope you're ready to spill your guts. I'm not very good with spicy things, and my insoles are kind of hurting right now. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> so this is the first one, right? For sure? Yeah. Okay. I hate that. <laughs> that's like already kind of hot to me. That's a cinnamon stick in there, I think, right? You think? You think that's a I'm, cinnamon I'm stick? pretty sure, right? Or a cigar. Which I <laughs> <know>. <laughs> they just they just went outside to be twig off a tree. <laughs> this is gonna be disastrous because that's already kinda hot. It's not that hot though. Well, I'm really bad with spice. You'll soon learn. Now right, what's your question? My question for you, and we'll start with we got a little sheet here, chap. What is the strangest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? That I'm secretly tall. A lot of people have this belief <laughs> that I'm like actually faking being short, like stolen valor from short guys, but I'm I'm actually five foot six. I think we need you to stand. Well, oh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna look super tall on camera because now I'm <laughs> just hitting my waist. Give us a little spin. Yeah, but it's, it's a nice five foot six frame, the optimal height for men. Clocking Don't let anyone fool you. 180 pounds, you look sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's like the strangest one. People. You're not wearing like heel inserts right now, right? Mm -mm. No, okay. just natural, God given five foot six jeans. Could I check your shoe and make sure? You're more than welcome to. It's just a pair of Skechers. <laughs> this one has some bird shit on it, so <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Is it the same ones you're wearing? It's the same ones from yesterday. Uh -huh. okay. The good old Skechers with a Dr. Scholl's in there for my big fucking Dr. feet. Dr. Scholl's. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I'm not gonna get that back. <laughs> it's degenerate. Well, do you want to know what my strangest rumor is? Yeah, what's your strangest rumor? There are people that have conspiracy theories that I wear like a full body latex suit at all times. That my breasts aren't real okay. and my thighs aren't real. That's awful. That's a genuine conspiracy theory people have about me. You can put the rumors <laughs> to bed though. You're, you're not wearing a latex suit at all times. Yeah, I'm definitely not. Nice. Well, then those rumors have been dispelled once and for all. Absolutely. Yeah, so we can put that one to rest. I think we can. You ready to try the next drink? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, look what you've done. <laughs> It's not really hot, it just feels acidic, like hydrochloric acid in my throat. I thought you were the throat goat. I've never heard that rumor about me, but <laughs> I don't think so. I have a bad gag reflex. Yeah? Oh yeah. I can make myself throw up just by putting a single finger like near the back of my tongue. I'd and... like to see this sometimes. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll show you. <laughs> How about you ask a question for this one then? All right. What's the weirdest OnlyFans request you've received? I have like a couple. And one's like morbid and one's just very odd. I had a guy reach out and he was like, I will give you like $10,000, but I need you to completely shave yourself. And he sent me links for body paint. And he's like, I need you to paint your entire body gold, like hair and everything. And he's like, I want you to like drop some of the paint in your eyes and you have to specifically use this paint. And I was just like, this just sounds awful. Yeah, you know? it sounds miserable. And so I said no, but it was so funny because like a week later on Twitter, <laughs> I had a friend of mine and she posted pictures of her all gold with the hair. And I was oh like, I know, God. I know he got, he got to you. He got what, to what him. was his offer? Like how much was he offering for that service? 10 grand. Do you mind see me painted gold? Do <laughs> you still have his info? I'll, I'll link it to yeah. you guys. What about you? My weirdest OnlyFans request? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Well, what about just like a weird request or like something someone's offered like a payment for you to do? I don't really give off, and this is going to be shocking, I don't really give off like that sexual energy where people are like, damn, I wish Charlie would do this, I'd pay for it. No one really I think you'd that. be surprised if you open yourself up to like that market. <laughs> I, <laughs> made a, I made a secret foot fetish TikTok, or not TikTok, OnlyFans one time, zero subscribers. Yeah, I would have, is it still up? No. Were See, you like putting like... Like peanut butter? No, like I shaved my feet. You should I, put your feet in peanut butter and post pictures. Of you're it. right. Not I should, because I want to see that or anything. I should have done a little more outlandish stuff, but I just shaved my feet and I set up like an OnlyFans from scratch. I worked on it with Jackson. Zero subscribers. Why do you Why do you feel like you needed to shave your feet? Because I didn't want. I wanted them to think it was a female foot. <laughs> yeah. But I do have like. Did you get a pedicure? No, I didn't. I didn't go that well, far. Well, okay. We'll see. You didn't commit. To That's that. true. I didn't commit enough. Let's get into this next one here. I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. I like this one. It's got like a little clip. 
<laughs> That's what I was thinking too. This one's actually really, this one's super spicy. What? What? It's cutting my tongue like it's a serrano pepper right there. <laughs> serrano what... peppers aren't even hot. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Are your eyes watering uh -huh. right now? That's right. This hot drinks really and even hotter questions. I'm going to see how the next one goes, but I might need the ice cream. What's an embarrassing moment you wish you could scrub from the internet? I don't know. I, there's nothing that I deem like really embarrassing, to be honest. Like I openly share my most embarrassing moments, so I don't think I'd scrub anything. Plus, it makes you stronger. I kind of feel the same way. Yeah. You, yeah. you strike me as someone that would be kind of shameless with that. What's your most embarrassing moment in general? Have you ever like shit yourself in public? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when I, I shit myself when I was a child. <laughs> And then one time when I was 14, but that was totally different. Gambled on a fart and lost. That's, yeah. Well, I was in a vinyl store one time. I was very violently hungover. But you know, like when you're like, oh, I'm just gonna like fart or something. Oh my God, what you, you shattered yourself after. It was terrifying because I just like, I felt it trickled down my leg. And I was like, oh God, <laughs> I was like. Were you wearing long pants at least? I was wearing a dress. Okay, that at least covers that. Like at least, in, so no one saw, I imagine. You're giving me a weird But one. I knew, it wasn't even solid. It was just like liquid diarrhea just <laughs> down my leg. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have said this. <laughs> no, this is what the people want. That's why they're tuning in. Yeah, but you, you don't understand like, God, I love my, you know, fan base or whatever, but I got some freaks in there and they're going to be like, shit on our leg? I'm about that. That's the people you want in your audience. The oh, ones okay. that are pumping their fists. She shit herself, let's call. Their fists? That's what they're pumping? I, well, I, <laughs> that's not really a story that I think is going to get a lot of people going, but who knows. <laughs> so you have like no like embarrassing moment. What? No, what's your most embarrassing moment? Um, I had a whole embarrassing like time period in my life full of like cringe but there's no like one chief moment that i consider the most embarrassing just give me one just give me one i guess the way i used to text people like when i first got a girl's number i didn't know how to text and anytime she wouldn't respond in five minutes i'd be like oh okay i guess you're not interested anymore and then i'd like <laughs> I didn't even like you that much anyways. and then i'd send her ascii art of stick figures to try and get her attention <laughs> it was really embarrassing and i used to try and teach myself break dancing to impress women and i was never good at it but i'd still try it so i'd send pictures of me doing head spins that my, <laughs> that my dad took of me and i'm like yeah i'm just practicing my break dancing <laughs> <laughs> I guess my dad's like into what I do. Uh, my dad just came in and started like, taking pictures of me head spinning. It's so weird. Maybe you think it's cool. <laughs> that is good. All right. You want to move on? Well, no, no. What did you do after you shit, though? You're a freak. You, well, why no. do you want to know so bad? Because how do you get out of that situation? That's like one of those moments where it's just, like, you want to just respawn. Like, you don't want to like continue forward. <laughs> I wanted to unalive myself. <laughs> yeah, but what did you do? Like, you had to navigate this predicament somehow. I just kind of like shuffled to the bathroom. And it was like bad, too, because I felt it going down my leg like faster oh. as I was shuffling. I don't know if it's like the momentum of me walking where it's just like. Did it dribble on the floor, you think? You left like forensic evidence of your shit? I declined to comment. Okay, you absolutely did. You fucking <laughs> snail trailing on the way there with poop. It wasn't even solid. I don't know what it was. It was just liquid that was coming out of me that I could not control. Anyways. Sex I did throw my panties away. Well, you can't save them after that anyway. They've like free so meat, much. you know? Arby's, we got free meat. A lot of pepper. That wasn't nearly as hot as that. Yeah, that was easy. I can handle that. We might not need the ice cream. <laughs> All right, your turn. What's the weirdest message you've received from someone? Not the weirdest request, just like the weirdest message, like maybe trying to like a pickup line, trying to get to know you. There's gotta be something. I actually have like some really unhinged shit. I had a stalker. Mm. I had a friend who, uh, she was South African. So her family, it was like multi-family living and they had a house, which was like basically two houses, but kind of connected by like hallway. And then uh, my friend lived under stairs because it was completely renovated. I would stay with her for like the summers. And I guess my stalker, went to high school with my friends and I knew where she lived or whatever. And I guess snuck into her house at that basement level and stole my panties. So I get this text from my stalker and they're just, they have their like a pair of my panties like wrapped around their cock. And he's like, I have your panties. Oh my God. It was just so violating on so many different levels, you know? That's a horror movie scene, like. Yeah, it's you, like, what else did you steal? Did you report that person? Oh, I got a restraining order. Uh, it, I don't have a PO box open anymore, partially because 
He uh, works at Jimmy John's. Uh, the sandwich, uh, the shirts they give you, not the sandwich, has like a different sandwich maker positions on it. He had a shirt, which is kind of fire, but it said like Mayo Master on the back. <laughs> can't believe that's a really cool shirt. Yeah, but he came in his shirt and then like mailed it to me. The shoe was right. It smelled awful. Yep, that's yep. definitely a weird one. <laughs> what about you? Again, shocker. I don't have any messages like that. Someone sent me, <laughs> someone sent me poop once in our P.O. box. Like actual poop? I think it was actual poop. And you know. just conveniently left that out. You're like, oh, that's just... Something. That's nothing. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> that's nothing? No, that's nothing. So you're a poop guy. <laughs> yeah, big poop Is that guy. why you were asking me so many questions? I don't like that you referred to my diary incident as a snail trail. <laughs> it's lingering in my mind. <laughs> Yeah, just let that, <laughs> let that ruminate in there for a bit. You want to dive in? Yeah, that one was easy. I'm hoping this one is too. What's in this one? It's a dark and spicy. It's going to be spiced rum, ginger beer, black pepper. That was flavorful. That was not even hot. That's just flavorful. Okay. So it's my turn here? Yeah, what do you got? What was your first impression of me? Uh... <laughs> Why are you I, hesitating so much? Like unhinged a bit. The first time I think we met, was after Creator Clash, and you immediately came into the warehouse, slipped and ate shit on the floor. Okay, well, one, Peach plays um, tennis. Mm -hmm. I play ping pong. And she's like, you're not gonna be fucking good. So like, we're going back to forth, back to forth, and someone spilled a drink behind the ping pong table. So it was like getting into playing like ping pong. And then I just like go to grab like the ping pong ball, I just eat shit. I didn't see it happen, but I heard it happen. Yeah, that's why my ass was soaked. Yeah. Everyone was like, Jenna, did you piss yourself? I was like, hey, Charlie, ass completely wet. And it's like, no context. I know? heard there were people concerned about a concussion, so I'm guessing what, 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 is, what must have happened is you slipped, hit the floor, and then hit your head. Yeah, I wiped out. Yeah, okay, cool. But I was thriving. So. Yeah, I had no idea that you were like teetering on the edge of like CTE. Like, that was pretty, like, you played it off well. <laughs> I was so like, I'm we, never going to be invited back here. <laughs> just come in and like almost getting. A catastrophic accident. So I was like, yeah, she's pretty unhinged. That'd off be the really rails. cool having a death in the warehouse, though. Yeah, we get sued, though. Like your the, family. The would... sacred blood covers the grounds. No, the, your estate would come after us. The <laughs> like, estate? You think I'm an estate? Yeah. Like I'm Bruce Wayne. Or something. Absolutely. You've got a whole empire built upon the weird gold obsessed guys. I'm really tempted to do that now and just like send you a picture of the gold. That, so you can finally have a weird text story. Oh, true. <laughs> You're I, circling back. It's all connected. That's not very It's all connected. Thank you. Wait, so I asked you the question. Right? Yeah. What was your first impression of me? Oh, of you? Of me. You were shy, little guy. I'm just not a shy. She's just that slander. <laughs> I'm not shy at all. You're like, my name is Charlie. That's not, no, it's very, it's like booming projection. It's like, good evening, madame. My name is Charles. <laughs> yeah. That's typically how I introduce Recreate myself. it. Recreate us. Recreate our first name. I was like, ah. Good morrow, madam. Put her there. Charles White. Pleasure. You see the handshake? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. It wasn't. <laughs> what do you mean? You gave me one of these. I was supposed to shake that. Usually I'm going for like a business shake. Yeah, that's weak. That's like wet noodle shit. It's a chicken ball. Yeah, it's trash. Wasn't shy. Never shy. <laughs> I don't believe in it. You saw that? Okay. Mm -hmm. A masculine rock of no emotion. In the sketchers. In your bird shit sketchers. Okay, it, yes. <laughs> like a real man. A like man who cares about his, his foot health because of the comfort. How much uh, protein do you ingest daily? Uh, one gram per body pound. Per so, pound of body weight. So how many? Are you? So 126 grams at least. So you only 126? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you weigh less than me. I know. I weigh less than most people. I don't know why, it just doesn't stack on. I used to be bigger. Do you know what we should do? Mm. That'd be really funny. We should walk around Florida, but I should get one of those baby Bjorns and just pop them in there. I could the easily Bjorn. rock 120 pounds, you kidding me? Is you that... know, my chest would be like, it's it's like, oh, you might have a rolly on your wrist. <laughs> I got voice critical on my chest. <laughs> I see a jalapeno slice and I'm a little scared. Yeah, God bless. I hate jalapenos. Jalapenos? Mm-hmm. It's still not as bad as this one, but that one's not good. Which one do you think is the spicy so far? That, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. What's the next brain buster in there? <laughs> the brain. Can you shut up for once you're like, it's your turn to ask a question. Is it? Yeah. Uh, well, this is on this sheet. How many sex toys do you own? You, oh, I knew that. I, I yeah. knew that you would not be the one you asked. That was like much more catered to me since I had a collection. The back building used to be nothing but mountains of Adam and Eve sex toys. Tons. Do you have like a sponsorship code with them? Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. the code? Defense. Because I would use it as self-defense tools to start. Just like, like beat people? Yeah, no, I was testing like 
if you were in like a robbery situation, like a burglar broke in and all mm -hmm. you had was like a dildo or a flashlight, how would you <laughs> be like stopping them? We did flashlight slapping competitions and we basically did everything but fuck it. Okay. Swear to God, I've never used any. Swear to God. Yep. But what I want to do is go to one of these, and I told Aaron this, I think it's a bang. We go to one of those sperm banks that have the oh, sperm yeah. extractor machine. Can we get pregnant? Don't be ridiculous, John. <laughs> you look and very then, fertile today. I'm, I'm feeling pretty fertile. So I'd go to the sperm bank with the sperm extractor, which is like an auto blow machine. I don't like the way you say sperm extractor. It's a flashlight in a kiosk. A kiosk? Yep. So is it, I, I'm sorry, I'm thinking like an ATM. You're just like rubbing up against the ATM. Yes, that's exactly what it is. But I want to go there to try it Must and be also nice do interviews man. there. We're in a man's world, truly. I'm sure they have something equivalent for women. Really? Yeah. The vaginal sucker. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it would work. So how many sex toys do you own? <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. Do you know what Bad Dragon is? Yeah, of course I know. When I was Dragon. younger, I read a lot of like Wattpad fan fictions and I was like very sheltered. I, I grew up in a Southern Baptist home. I remember the first dildo I ever ordered was from Bad Dragon. Yeah. And uh, Bad Dragon back in the day, it took months for them to make like custom dildos. The CEO used to have to test each product to ensure its quality. Stop. It's true. True story. This thing uh, finally comes in and I'm so excited. It's like the first dildo I ever bought in my life. This shit's huge. When I say it's got like a seven inch girth, I bought, I only bought the medium, the medium crackers. For those who know, you know, but this shit was like, this thick around. Yeah, that's Bad Dragon for you. Who put, how can you fit that? Did you ever see the Bad Dragon Bruce the shark model? Oh yeah, I bought that. The Shark Week one? Wait, you saw it? The, the, the double one? one? Yeah, oh, wait, no, I wait, bought it. hey, 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 hey. No, I got, I got it with a suction cup on the back, mainly because this is what I was saying. I collect, I like to collect the Bad Dragon dildos. It's not even that I've even used all of them. I just like having them. I gotta stop buying them. I'm like a little klepto, you know, like I'm like, I gotta stop buying like shit I hoard. I'm like a pigeon, but with cock. Mm. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Well, charming. Yes. Were there any questions you were having I wasn't going to ask you today? Nah, I'm an open book. If you could take any creator out on a date, who would it be and where would you go? Like any creator, like alive or dead? I mean, if it's a dead creator, you'd have to dig them out of their grave. Do they come back to life or do they just no, exhume the body? No, it's just a corpse. Okay, then I, I'd probably choose someone that's alive. What's in this one? That's a uh, the spice room habanero. Habanero, you got this. Just down it. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Woo! My bottle just tightened up a what little a, bit. What a jump! Wow! Man, she's not playing around. I'll tell you what. Those, those <laughs> habaneros came to came to game. You go first. I need a minute to think about that. <laughs> I had a cool answer if it was someone that would be that I could bring back to life. Yeah, how about both? You can do both. There was a guy who thought that I was part of like the deep state Illuminati because of like my white shirts representing the baseline consciousness and that I was like promoting wow, this like evil agenda that is basically this massive conspiracy theorist. And he passed away. But I think if I could take him on a date, I might have been able to steer him down a better path of not going down this like rabbit hole. So you're trying to save him. Yeah, I think about that quite a bit actually. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, who'd you take on a date? I'm gonna take Jenna Marbles out. That's OG, she quit too. Yeah. What's this one? I'm a little scared, that last one was a big jump. It's a kind of my time. Oh, it's so much easier. Man, there's, there's some weird jumps here. Number three, fuck my ass. Number uh, seven, slap me. But then number eight's like really actually a pleasant taste. Oh, it's my turn? Uh-huh. Uh, what do we got on here? What's the last account you searched on Twitter? That could be super lame. What you searched last on Twitter? <laughs> I was trying to show uh, my roommate Bats, uh, the girthiest cock I've ever seen in my life. Oh, nice. <laughs> but I couldn't remember his name, so I just did like Girth Master, I think. But, yeah, that's his name. His name is Girth Master. That's his name? <laughs> yeah, he has like- The Australian guy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That shit looks like a forearm. But yeah, it's like a tree trunk. Mine's lame answer, so there's no point in that. I guess a better question. This is like for all the fans of yours out there. This can help them. Do you have any red flags? I think my biggest red flag is uh, a grown adult that refuses to eat vegetables. Like going out on a date with someone and they're like, I don't eat veggies. Who was the last person you took on a date? <laughs> it's 
been a while. Yeah, but it's, it's like middle school. Like what the fuck? I'm just I'm just saying it's like a pet peeve. Yeah. It's a pet peeve, and it's really common in the creative space. Just grown men that's all he mentions. Well, that's embarrassing. Yeah, no, that's a huge red flag for anyone I would think. Just yeah, just even yeah, if you like, don't normally eat vegetables, just suck it up on the date to not look like a bitch. Like, <laughs> eat the greens. Like it's like your piss must not smell good. I certainly wouldn't have gone in that direction. <laughs> Anyways, next one. What's this one? Cheers. Honey hot habanero paloma. Oh. So it's like this then? It's it, gonna be a little bit similar, yeah. But it's habanero. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I know. Oh, well, it's not nearly as bad. Like, it's got a little kick to her, but nothing I can't tame. The honey's good though. Yeah, I like whatever's on the rim. You like rims? That rim, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you eat a lot of rim? No, only a couple times. Like, <laughs> you an ass eater? I do eat some ass. So then. A question, I guess this is a weird question, and that ties in. You ever, like, accidentally, like, chew off a hair, and then it gets, like, stuck in your teeth? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Jenna, what the fuck is wrong with you? You want to a really funny story? Run it. I got pink eye in both my eyes once. <laughs> I got double pink eye from eating ass. You didn't just ask him to, like, shower beforehand? Like, that was off the table? You know, you, you, you'd assume they were showered. I guess. I wouldn't take the chance, though. Imagine me now. Sitting there, double pink eye. Have you ever had someone fart in your face? No, I've never been <laughs> oh. beef stewed. Is that someone... what it's called? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever had someone <laughs> fart in your face? I know my rights as American citizen. Well, no, it's truth or drink, so if you're not going to answer that, you're going to have to like fucking chill that <laughs> drink or something, because that is, you've had someone fart in your fucking face. You don't know that. You're I telling didn't me. It. Oh my god. I just really like that drink. That was your question, right? About you like rims? No, I thought you asked a question. Did I? I don't remember. <laughs> that took me for such a while. The, the spice, the alcohol, I think it started to catch up. That was a cool question though, a real thought-provoking yeah. one. Let's go to the last one. So what's the last one? That one's been very peculiar to look at. It's a hand-shaken pina colada with some spice. What is the spice in there? Uh, habanero and jalapeno. All right, God bless. Bring it in. Oh, like a Man, that's not hot at all. It just tastes good. You just made like a good drink to finish it off. I don't know if there's anything left in here that's like interesting. Okay. Impromptu. Something you would do if you knew there were no consequences. You Your see mom. What? Nice. That was bad. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is there any questions you were hoping you weren't going to be asked today? I feel like I'm pretty open. Yeah, you've told some gross shit about yourself. <laughs> okay, I have one. What's the worst date you've ever been on? Is that the girl's fault? I've told this before, but there was this girl I met through Tinder a long time ago. And she looked nothing like her pic pictures when I went to pick her up. Like and a house of... Like a totally different person. She definitely just took like Google images and put them on her Tinder profile. And you fell for it? Fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. But when I picked her up, I was like, nope. This is <laughs> no. You have deceived me, and I need a way out. So I came up with a story that my dad and I are in like a bowling league, and I had to go bowling with him. And it was super awkward because I had I picked her up, and then I was already driving to where we were going. I was like, <laughs> oh shit! I can't believe this. I have to go bowling with my dad. <laughs> I gotta turn around and drop you off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I know she knew that that's not happening because who's gonna get an emergency phone call about bowling from their dad? The bowling league needs you, Charlie. <laughs> get their bowling alley calls. We son. can't do this without you. <laughs> so that was, I think that's the most uncomfortable I've ever been on a date. What's the worst date you've ever been on? Middle schoolers that don't eat their veggies or whatever. A friend of mine convinced me to install Bumble. And I don't really use like dating apps, right? And, but I really like cooking and the guy's like, let's have a cooking competition. I was like, okay, like cooking contest, like that's cool. So I get like all these nice ingredients. I was gonna make like risotto and like a herb crusted ribeye. I get there and this guy's like in an apartment, which I don't really care about, but this apartment has like no doors, only flags. This guy pulls out a walk. He was gonna he was gonna do surf and turf. Okay. <laughs> so, it just gets worse the more I tell it. He doesn't even like heat up the wok. He just throws the steak and then just puts it on the stove and just like turns the stove on. So this thing's like gray, it's just like simmering in this wok. It's it's a puck. It's a puck. Okay, cool. And I'm like making my risotto, I'm whipping it up. And he's like, You want a beer? It's like he's like, it's a jam monkey IPA. And I was like, I'm really good, man. I'm good. He downs like this whole six pack. How long were you there at this point? So this whole story conspires, like it happens all in the span of two hours. Okay. This is a lot of activity to take it yes. really quickly. And uh, he's like, okay, I'm gonna go grab like the lobsters. So he comes back with a plastic bag and he shows me like, this plastic bag with like two lobsters scuttling around in them. And he's like, I stole these. That's so badass. So anyway, these lobsters like scuttling around. He's doing his like little drunk wobble. And I was like, hey, like, you should probably drink some water, man. And, and then he like holds up one of those like IPAs, just like, beer's my water. This guy's awesome. <laughs> this is a great day. Anyways, 
He throws up on the lobsters. He's like, I just need a minute. I just need a minute. So he goes and uses his room, like as is the bathroom. And there's only flags, right? So this dude's just like draining his hog. And I see like bare pasty ass cheeks. I'm seeing this whole man's ass. That's like, cool though. From like the corner. I'm just like making risotto. Seeing some like man's ass. There's lobsters scuttling around behind me and some vomit. So like he comes back. He's kind of like pulled himself together. You know, the wok steak's still simmering there. But now he gets a pot of... Uh, you know, water boiling and throws the vomit lobsters in there. I finish up like my risotto. I'm like adding like the white wine and stuff to it. And he takes the white wine bottle in my hand and just starts like. Damn, like, this guy's so cool. We finish cooking all that. He like tries my food. He's like, well, you're like really good cook. He's like, you definitely won this cooking contest. I think we should have a rematch. I wasn't on my A game today. <laughs> <laughs> so I was really packing up like my stuff or whatever. Cause I'm like getting ready to leave. You know, because I'm like, I need to get out of here. And I've now invested enough time in this where I can like leave and he won't kill me. There's a certain amount of time you have to stay. So to here for. I am prepped to leave. And then he hits me with this. He's like, oh, well, why don't you stay? Let me like play you a song. Oh <laughs> my God. Did he pull out an acoustic guitar? Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. So you stayed. I stayed. Yeah. So, um, so he gets in this like little computer chair and he whips out his guitar and he's like, any song recordings? I was like, through the fire flames by Dragon Force. Oh, you're taking a piss out. Oh, he got all that. <laughs> he's like, oh, I think I've heard that before. I can play that. Plays it. It's, it's like, me, me, wow. Me, 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 wow. It's like, it's not going well, but I'm like living for this. And he's like, you know what? I actually, I don't think I know this one. You have any other song recordings? like, <laughs> I like that he tried though. So picture this. He's holding his guitar, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, he takes his shoes off. I'm like, why is this man taking his shoes off? Here I am, like, picture this is like the couch, okay? And he just starts like scuttling towards like his chair. Well, so you can hear the acoustics better. Okay, but like his dogs are out, the grippers are out, yeah. and he starts rubbing my leg with his feet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and I have a picture of it if you don't play me. I'm just like, all right, I need to get out of here. And he's like, He's like, wait, wait a second. This man whips out his sleeping bag, throws it on the couch. Oh, that's okay. Takes his shirt off, his jeans off, unzips the sleeping bag and gets in the sleeping bag. And then just does, just like one of these. And he's just like, you want to snuggle? And obviously you said yes. <laughs> I was like, no. Can you imagine how many times that has worked though? Probably, Every probably. Time. And he, you just, you could tell he's like taking it back. He's like, oh. Like, okay, I didn't even like want to struggle that bad anyways. I was like, okay, <laughs> it's only getting worse. At this point, I'm ready to run. Like, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run my car at this point. And so I get to like the end and I'm like, yes, I see my car in the parking lot. I have done my due diligence. I'm gonna book it. And- uh, His fucking roommate blocks you, doesn't he? No, no. Okay. So he, he grabs like my arm, like the back of my arm, trying to like lean in for a kiss. I was so fed up at this point. I was like, I'm gonna stop you right there. You're never gonna hear from me ever again. Damn, okay, you play hardball. You're just like, yeah, well, you're never going to hear from me again. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you're lost, actually. Yeah. So I make it to my car, I get home, but the following morning I get a text from him. And he's like, hey, I had a really good time on our date. He's like, sorry, uh, I wasn't on my A game. I'd love a rematch sometime. When was the other date? Was that one, like, so much better? <laughs> we didn't go on another one. What? That's so weird. No, but um, it was funny because like a few months after that, he just, uh, he texts me again and he sends me like a picture of like the Swiss Alps or something. He's like, Hey, sorry you haven't heard from me in a few months. I was hiking the Swiss Alps with my brother. It sounds like Napoleon Dynamite. Who do you want to name <laughs> This guy sounds so unhinged. Yeah, that's my worst state story. Yep, that's a lot worse than mine. That was a war. You fought a war. <laughs> Protecting sir. You survived a battle. I have a lot of really bad dude stories, but that's probably like the creme de la creme. <laughs> well, thanks so much for trying out these spicy drinks with me. Yeah. On. Is there any plugs you want to make? No, thanks so much for scaring me. All right. Well, thank you so much and see you next time.